Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. This is a new series uh, for SQL Server reporting services, uh, interview questions and answers. Uh, so I'm gonna give you a quick walkthrough and also answer this question. Um, so to access these all videos and uh, the post, uh, I will recommend you go into techbrothersit.com and uh, then hit the tab SSRS uh, interview questions. Uh, you will see all those questions are listed here the same playlist I have in the YouTube so you can watch from there as well so once you click on any of the answer let's say we are looking for what type of parameters are available in SSRS if you click here you are in office you can just read this part and you do not have to worry about watching a video but if you are sitting at home and you would like to get the real uh, you would like to see the real interface used to create these parameters and how exactly they are done i will recommend watching a video so answer is provided in video as well as here in the uh, post so if you can read fine if you can watch it that's great you can do both things to give you more detail uh, question answer and you will see a lot of things are done in the video so this can be used actually a complete tutorial because each question I'm answering I'm providing exact solution for that so let's go ahead and check our very first video what is SSRS so as of now I have written the post I'm making the video now so SSRS stands for SQL Server Reporting Services, which is server-based report generation software from Microsoft. So Microsoft, when uh, they release SQL Server, this release as a suite. So it's a combination of SSIS, SSAS, SSRS, and other uh, services as well. So reporting services are the, the service that is used for reporting the very first thing okay the service is there how we will develop our report so Microsoft has provided us two tools SQL Server Data Tools and the Report Builder we were we were using bids before but now from a SQL 2012 we are using a SQL Server Data Tools so let's go ahead and open SQL Server Data Tools once you open SQL Server Data Tools you can go to the file new project and create your reporting services project once that's done, you can create your shared data sources, shared data sets, and reports. And most of the time, developers will be using this interface. If you are a business user who has some knowledge of how to develop the reports, you will be using a tool called Report Builder. And you can install on your machine and then search by saying Report Builder. And it is the Report Builder 3.0. That's the latest version of a Report Builder available in the market as of now. Now, the, the Report Builder can also be started from a Report Manager. I will show you that part. Once you are done with this report in the Report Builder or SSDT, the next part is we need to deploy this report somewhere. So let's see what is that, that part. Report Server. So that's where we are going to deploy our reports or save our reports so other people can use these reports. The report server, let's take a look on the definition. A single report server instance is defined by a complete collection of processes and uh, extensions that provide end-to-end -end processing from the handling of the initial request to the presentation of a finished report. Now this is the main part. You can functionally a report server enables report authoring experience and report rendering, report delivery ex experience uh, for a variety of data sources as well as extensible auth uh, authentication and authorization schemas. So you can take this service uh, where we can uh, deploy the reports. When we send the request, it uh, connect to the data sources, uh, grab the data and finally present that data in uh, some graphical interface. So that's the report server now once we deploy the reports to the report server the report server need to save these reports somewhere so report database so that's the database where the report reports will be saved you can take a look on this one a report server contains report server databases that store publish reports once you publish or save or deploy the reports the reports will be deployed to the report database share data sources share data sets report parts share data schedule subscription report definition source files model definition 
uh, compile the report snapshot parameters and uh, all different uh, other so resources are saved to the database that's great now let's uh, go ahead and take a look on the uh, databases so here on the sql server there are two databases are created as part of uh, when i will did the deployment uh, the deploy uh, sorry when i did the configuration for my reporting services so this is called report server dollar sign sql 2016 you can have name just the report server or any other name you would like to select for your database this is the database where all the information is saved so you can see a lot of tables here these are all the tables saving the information now next is the the temp db that uh, that is used for caching and session management so these are two databases are uh, compulsory or you have to have a uh, for a report server uh, to work uh, now let's go go back to the next one uh, what we did uh, we uh, developed the reports so by using SSDT or report builder and then we deployed published or saved the reports uh, so we use the report server interface uh, and uh, then uh, database is used to store that uh, information for our reports uh, databases uh, sorry data, shared data sources shared data sets and all that next uh, we want to see those reports uh, and even before we see those reports i would like to see what was the url uh, where uh, the reports were saved uh, so i want uh, i want to go to the reporting services configuration manager this is going to tell me where uh, what is the URL for report server? What is the URL for report manager? So I'm going to go ahead and take a look. SQL server reporting. Let's take a look on this tool. Provide the machine name. And in this case, Amir PC is my machine name. And I have two reporting services instances or services running on my machine so I'm gonna select one connect to that and you see that use the reporting services configuration manager tool to define or modify setting for report server and report manager so this is the interface we will be playing as a DBA a lot to change that such a service account can be changed web service URL that's the URL for your report server let's take a look on this one I have already opened this one so once you open the report server uh, URL uh, this is what you are gonna see and this is our URL and you will see a directory structure you will see all the folders uh, which are available on the report server you will see all the reports uh, and you can click on uh, this report it will uh, show you a report uh, as well so it took the request uh, went to the data sources uh, grabbed the data and then created the intermediate uh, format for data and layout together and then finally render this report for you so we have uh, this interface uh, this is directory structure where we see them and now let's go to the next one we have databases uh, where which server is whole uh, containing those databases uh, so we, we can see from here we can see the report server database names we can change them or even create a new databases so this will creating a new database probably will be happening on initial configuration but if you have a restore the databases on a other server you would like to use them you can choose existing report server databases so in uh, cases of migration and all that you can use this uh, configuration manager a lot now report manager url this is the url uh, mostly your users will be connecting uh, to see the reports so, so i have already opened this one this is a beautiful interface uh, so this web interface can be used to create the folders we can create the folders we can uh, upload the files that means we can deploy the files from here and one of the thing i was saying even a report builder can be started from here as well let's say i have the reports here you see i can see the reports in the detail or a grid view uh, or a title view sorry and uh, i can do that i can uh, move the report from one folder to another folder delete the report create a subscription create linked reports view report history schedule uh, security manage download and edit in a report builder so there are a lot of things we can do from the report manager and uh, you will be providing the permission on the folder level or report level so different users can access this interface and only have the access to the items where they have a permission now we are done with the report manager and we are done pretty much with the everything if 
I will be you I will be starting step by step so I will tell them um, about the reporting services then I will tell about the development tools of SSDT and the report builder then I will go to the report server and tell them what exactly it does for us and where it save those reports data sources data uh, sets and everything and then tell them about the reporting services configuration manager and how to find the URL for your uh, report server and report manager and finally tell them about the report manager and all the details what you can do in the report uh, manager so thanks very much for watching this video I hope this series will help uh, you guys to learn a lot of things and uh, um, get a better job or uh, get a first time job so good luck uh, with the interview question uh, and uh, I will see you guys in the next uh, video